Hey everyone, Alex here with RDO Equipment out of Moorhead, Minnesota. Behind me, I got a Team Co Snow Blast snowblower, and I want to shoot a quick little video, give you a little bit of a product highlight of something we just got done building here in Moorhead, Minnesota. Behind me, I got the Team Co 8600A. This is an eight foot wide snowblower with the optional six inch wings on each side, so we are now at a total nine foot width. And obviously, this snowblower looks a little bit different than the ones you're used to seeing. Uh, we got two rotary drums up front. Obviously, this snowblower here is built to go through a ton of snow. Up front, behind me on the bottom here, we got four separate cutting edges, giving this a really unique cutting edge pattern. And that is designed in a way to help feed the snow up into the drums. So at the end of the day, you can obviously tell by a snowblower of this design, you're not going to have a, a really fresh cleanup like at the end of your driveway. This is made just a move a, a mountain of snow and, and get in and get out, right? Okay, so this isn't just their only model. In fact, this is their smallest model that they make. Uh, Teamco, uh, Teamco Industries is actually out of Key, South Dakota. Uh, so about three and a half hours south of Moorhead here. And uh, obviously with the unique design um, on the snowboard with the two drums and obviously the two chutes, um, this being their smallest unit, they actually make four. Now, on all four of these units, there is optional side wings to extend it an additional foot if you need to. Um, I got my phone with me because there's just too many cool specs to keep in my head. Um, I'll just run through this particular one, but <clears throat> to give you an example of their horsepower range and what they can do is this particular model is rated for 90 to 180 horsepower, while their biggest model at a staggering 12 foot wide and six and a half feet high is rated for up to 450 horsepower. Okay, so... Um, depending on what size tractor you got and how much snow you really need to move, uh, I think these boys got you covered down in, in South Dakota. So this, this model here behind me, like I mentioned before, it's eight feet wide, okay, and we got the optional six inch wing. So we're at nine foot here. It is 48 inches high, so four foot high. And uh, something impressive here, I really like uh, overbuilding uh, of, of machinery, right? Built to last. Two and a quarter inch bearings on this, on the shafts. That's, that's pretty massive. Uh, where those bearings are at uh, in front of it, the, the chain case on this is actually in a big oil bath. So um, several gallons of hydraulic oil uh, behind this in, in, a, in a tank, right? So chain case, it's oil bath. Uh, the fan backs and fan paddles are 3 8 inches, 3 8 inch thick on this particular model, six paddles per fan. The snowboard housings are seven gauge steel. And the cutting edges on this um, are all um, cutting edges are all replaceable. There's four cutting edges, and this is category two or three on the back of this tractor, or actually more or less on the front of this particular tractor. This particular model I have mounted on the front of the tractor, and the tractor that it's mounted on is a 6R175. This is mounted on the front of the machine. You can mount these snowboards, of course, on the, you know, the rear of, of a tractor, which is probably how most people do it, uh, but Teamco does offer a um, counterclockwise gearbox so you can option to have this snowblower be driven on the front of your tractor if you have the optional front three-point PTO on your on your unit on your machine. If you want to see this in person get a hold of me here at the RDO Moorhead store location or if you just want to learn more stop into your nearest RDO equipment store location and ask an account manager.